more than once this weekend. I wish the pools were still open. Yeah, same. <laughs> the outdoor here. ones, right? <laughs> yeah, it's been so hot and it humid has. and man, we could really use some rain. Yeah, we definitely need the wet weather. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to hear from a lot of folks about just how dry it is, and it is very dry. Take a look at Winston-Salem today with sunshine. It's also kind of hot when you consider that the fair starts next week in Winston-Salem. Mayberry days are going on right now. I was out on my back deck today, and I noticed that finally my lantana, which is a heat loving plant, was yeah, growing like weeds out there. So I posted this picture on Facebook and I asked other folks, I said, listen, this is a summer plant. Please share some fall spirit with me. And then I got this. Look, my pentas, yes, they are blooming as well, says Patricia. Yeah, all the summer plants are in bloom. But yeah, maybe you have started doing a little decorating like Marley here from uh, Moravian Falls. That looks nice with the mums and the pumpkins. Got a little scarecrow action there from Terry and Cindy Adams in Wilkes County. And then check this out it's from Art 101 in Lexington. Jody said she went there and she learned how to paint this. That is a nice picture. So yeah, beautiful fall color for sure. Now we are going to have at least a little bit of a cool down tomorrow and Wednesday where temperatures come down closer to normal. Still a little bit above, but not close to 90. That will come back in the latter half of the week. We're going to see temperatures soaring again. I've got mainly dry skies this week. Unfortunately, not much in the way of rain. In fact, we usually see about four plus inches of rain. We've only had point zero two inches, so two one hundredths of an inch of rain in September. And yes, that is unusually dry. Not a record, but it will go down. It looks like in the history books as the second driest on record. Now, if we do get some more rain on our seven day forecast, that would bump us down a little bit. But right now ranked at number two. Yes, unusually dry temperatures across the area. though very comfortable at this hour. We've got a little bit of a breeze. You have temperatures in the 70s. We have low humidity, so if it's going to be hot, we don't want it to be humid. So you can see the dew points are in the 50s. We've got that wind out of the west at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow's wind comes out of the north. A front is dropping in here, and yes, it will cool us off. Unfortunately, it didn't bring us any rain out there today. We will wake up in the upper 50s in the mountains, low 60s in the foothills and mid 60s in the triad. We've got that north breeze tomorrow, 5 to 10 miles an hour, so that will be refreshing. Lots of sunshine again and a high of 83. For foothills, you've got north wind as well with a high of 80 and a lot of blue sky. Mayberry days will be sunny and pleasant on Wednesday. Heating up on Thursday may see some shower chances arriving by Friday into Saturday, but they are real small chances right now. Mountain forecast a high of 72 tomorrow afternoon with that north wind 10 miles an hour. Next front is this one for Thursday into Friday. We are dry on Tuesday. We are going to be dry on Wednesday. We will be likely dry on Thursday. Maybe a shower in the mountains right now. Looks like Friday is dry, but maybe we bring in rain chances by Saturday. But these again are low rain chances. We usually see tropical systems in the southeast in September. They keep us pretty wet. We've had 12 named storms so far this season. Lorenzo today which may become a major hurricane over the next several days. It is here just off the coast of Africa. It is likely going to become a hurricane by Wednesday and then potentially strengthen into a major hurricane by Friday and Saturday. Meanwhile, just south of Bermuda, you've got Tropical Storm Jerry. That one is going to be impacting Bermuda with wind and rain Wednesday and then moving into the North Atlantic. Then, of course, remember Karen. That one's a little farther to the south, very distant organized moving northwest at 10 miles an hour. It will still bring wind and heavy rain to Puerto Rico Tuesday moving north and then notice how it just sort of meanders here. That's because it's running into that big ridge of hot air, that bubble of heat that is across the southeast. That is actually protecting us from the tropical systems, but it also is providing us with the heat as temperatures will be in the high 80s into the weekend. We'll be right back.